Hi everyone, this reading is an opportunity to explore your sole purpose in 2019 and I might do other life purpose readings at some point but this is really just an opportunity for you to dive into what's actually the most important thing that your soul is trying to learn to express and trying to achieve in this uh, time period because things are changing and shifting so quickly and so frequently so much so it's um, important not to get too stuck on any particular ideas but we're going to look at where you are on your path at this time and I want you to just close your eyes meditate on the choices available, trust your own inner knowing about which message to be guided to and ultimately trust your own inner knowing about what to do about the messages you receive, you know, um, take your power back, just let this be a guide and through the laws of synchronicity and resonance you will attract just the right message for you at this time. So I hope you enjoy it and um, have a great day, week, month, year, 2019. Bye. So if you chose part number one, your soul personality in 2019, it's all about clearing your energy. It's about clearing things from your life that don't work for you. It's about clearing, clearing, clearing. Just when you thought you couldn't do any more clearing, it's about clearing at a much higher level now, at the kind of level that's going to allow you to really express everything that you are, absolutely everything that you are. And your sole purpose now is going to be to learn how to surrender much more, and you will do that by making sure that your energy is so clear and you're able to step into such a high frequency that you trust the guidance you receive. You trust and know that everything is going to be absolutely fine. So a big part of your sole purpose in 2019 is going to be about learning to surrender and go with the flow. And your advice for soul development is to learn to connect with your guides much more. Connect with your guides and angels and teachers and go much more on on that internal spiritual quest for guidance to know what steps to take next in the external world and that's how you're going to shape and manage your external world to the best of your abilities um your sole purpose is actually spiritual understanding and learning and growth and teaching and you might do this through some form of creativity but I feel that it's much more about higher learning, higher ideas, um, sacred geometry, um, understanding uh, shamanic practices, being able to take people on a journey, on a very deep journey, but for understanding, for awareness. And you are being asked to prioritise that. Prioritise your spiritual journey, your spiritual growth, your spiritual understanding. But I've heard your empirical understanding. Time to go from what you know and feel inside you now, uh, rather than what you read in books or what you hear from external sources. It's time to follow that inner light, to be able to tune into that inner light and to go forward. You're overall, ultimately, you're kind of a teacher. That's a big part of your soul's path, but it comes from you embodying totally what it is you're going to be teaching and sort of teaching by example, by becoming something else. So your your focus for this year is the way to fulfill your, your soul's purpose this year is to just keep increasing your spiritual understanding and your ability to embody that understanding and to transform and grow. You might be exploring all sorts of things, um, little remedies. I'm seeing droppers, things in bottles, like um, it could be aromatherapy, it could be flower remedies, it could be anything like that that works on a vibrational level because it's about you affecting your frequency and learning how to do that and then uh, impacting the world around you and showing others how to do that. So I hope that helps you. Um, and uh, good luck with everything. That sounds wonderful. And uh, thanks for listening. Okay, if you picked pile number two, 
your soul personality is someone who is really learning how to balance their temperament, someone who has had many, many lifetimes and many, many experiences that have, let's just say, tried your patience and they are overall teaching you how to be more patient, more peaceful and more balanced within yourself, regardless of what's going on around you. So, and I feel that you will a lot of you, you will have experienced things in this lifetime, especially over the last couple of years, I feel, that have pushed you again to the limit to where you have, you've come out the other side as someone who's really much more able to balance your emotions from the inside, whatever, regardless of the storms, like becoming the calm at the eye of the storm. For some of you, that is already your soul personality. And for others, that's the journey that you've been on recently to to become that or to reestablish it, to remember it from previous lifetimes. Some of you will have had lifetimes um, spent in monasteries or, you know, as Buddhists chanting and, and meditating and that will be the result, that you've learned a great deal of peace and patience and balance when others around you might be losing their heads, as as the um, poem says. So that's something that you bring to every situation that is a really defining quality that you're aspiring to keep developing lifetime after lifetime. Um, and your soul's purpose Let's say your soul's purpose in 2019 then is to become more abundant. But for a lot of you, this will have been a theme f- through many lifetimes as well. That that with it, with this patience, there's also um, a tendency. There has been a tendency to accept what comes along and oh, it's okay and whatever happens, it must be happening for a reason. And yes, up to a point. But sometimes I feel that has left you feeling a bit disempowered. And so because the only reason uh, your soul purpose would be to become more abundant I feel is that you, with you know the putting those two cards together is that you must have neglected to some extent your financial base or uh, solidity or the kind of security the kind of abundance all those words if if you're listening to this and all those words are making you cringe slightly on some level then this message is definitely for you. And your sole purpose in 2019 is going to be to finally clear some of those blocks and and limitations and thoughts and consciousness that stop you from being abundant to the extent that they end up making you disempowered. And you may have been pushed and pushed and pushed in recent years to the point where you think, okay, now this has got to change because the alternative is the the, the consequence of being so patient and calm and balanced in the face of, of adversity, being so passive, too passive. The consequence of that has been that it has actually been quite painful sometimes to be without that stability, that self-generated stability. And so now you are going to be prioritizing making a firmer foundation for yourself. Okay, that's the way it kind of comes through. Advice for your soul development, take care of your inner child. There, there are parts of you that that are wounded, that need care, that need to be indulged a little bit, that need to be reassured that everything is going to be okay. But you need to sort of be extending a certain amount of protection and protectedness, especially to the heart to take, you know, take care of yourself and create firmer, a firmer footing in the physical reality so that you can do that even better. Really take good care of yourself Um, and, and anyone around you, like in family who relies on you for your help and assistance. You know, you're being asked to come out really, really strongly in favour of creating solid physical structures in 2019. So that's your a big part of your soul's purpose for this year. Your advice for progress. You need to get out more. Don't be so isolated. Don't be so insular. Resist the temptation. Resist, resist, resist. Get out. Um, and if you feel vulnerable about meeting people and connecting with people, 
make an effort to connect and meet with the right people. So, you know, there is a, a lid for every pot, as they say, um, you know, with regard to relationships. But I think that also applies with groups. You know, it doesn't matter how sensitive you are, doesn't matter how vulnerable you're feeling. There is a group of people somewhere who will totally get you and who will not cause you to feel any more wounding or pain and you know who will accept you and be a part of your journey so that you can start moving forward again okay and um finally are you fulfilling your soul's purpose if you are learning and if you are growing at this time you are fulfilling your soul's purpose i sort of feel like it's not much more than that for you at the moment but you might also actually be a, a teacher i mean in a structured place um, and that's all okay if that is something that supports you at the moment it's all good practice it's all good experience and um, and it might be a part of your future structure um, you might also need to study something that could be a part of your soul's purpose but you know it's anything concerned with education and self-improvement at the moment is going to help you. So it might be that you, you you do some training that's to do with getting motivated again, feeling good again, feeling as if you can do this, start a new venture or really become capable in those areas that were mentioned before. Whatever it is, if you're learning something new this year, it's going to help you to fulfill your soul's purpose in the future because teaching and learning are very strong for you. OK, I hope that helps you and uh, good luck with everything. OK, and if you picked pile number three, I looked at some of the cards and some of them seemed a bit vague. And so I asked, what's going on here? And the, nothing's ever vague. Everything means something. And what I heard was home. For people who've chosen this one. For a lot of you, home is very important with regard to your soul purpose in 2019. So for some of you, that will mean you need to restructure your home in some way to allow you to do something practical, um, physical or work oriented that that just puts you further along your path. So home is very important. It might be um something that involves balancing the scales as well so for example there might be a sense of rightness about it there might be a sense of okay this is the right thing to happen now karmically or something like that this is something that divine order is wanting to take care of um in 2019 for a lot of people it's going to be the key sorry about the pun, it's literally going to be the key that turns that allows you to go on your soul path, that you figure out home in some way, whatever that means to you, okay? Um, your soul personality is uh, you like to win. You like to win. You like to stand for something. You like to be very, very clear about a goal. And you like to fulfill that goal. You like things to be quite cut and dried. And in a sense, you are that's pulled you forward to where you are now. And that is going to continue to pull you forward. But you're also being asked to trust your inner knowing and to also listen for guidance, listen for instruction from your guides and, and trust the signs that you see along the way. So things are not necessarily so cut and dried. For some of you also, there is something musical involved or something creative, something that has to come from your soul, something that relies on soul expression. So it could be that lifetime after lifetime, you've been expressing a truth through something um, that's not so cut and dried, through something very um, melodious or symbolic. So you could be a writer, you could be a musician, you could be just somewhat a dancer as well. Some of you will be dancers, something creative, but you have a sort of champion mentality. So whatever it is that you do, you like to do it to the best of your, I mean, to really hone your skills and train. You're not afraid of hard work. So that feels like your soul personality. It's like a champion mindset. 
And your sole purpose in 2019 is, yes, to pay attention to your inner knowing about what you need to do next. Your past doesn't have to be um, like everyone else's. It might be a little bit unusual. You might be asked to be an original, an originator, but you have to trust that. Your advice for soul development, for some of you, your soul development is going to come from being able to work with other people, possibly in a divine partnership. So I'm hearing divine balance, divine partnership, divine counterpart. So for some of you, it's like not necessarily literal that you'll be working with a partner, but for some of you, it will be that. It doesn't mean, oh, I've got to sit around for my twin, wait for my twin flame before I do anything. But there's some element of balancing yourself within a relationship, within a connection or within a work partnership or even an organization. And where do you fit in? And uh, are you able to compromise? Because you're very, your, your vision is very clear. And sometimes there's the need for input to come from other places and uh, to balance you out a little bit. And I feel for some of you, there is going to be some kind of a partnership or an element of partnering in order to get the most out of this year. And you're being asked to trust the divine order in everything with regard to that as well, that if it works out that way, great. If not, then sometimes people just come in to show us something for a while, to teach us something else about ourselves, maybe to teach you where you might have been inflexible sometimes. But whatever happens, it's all to the good because your sole purpose in 2019 is to trust your own vision ultimately and to trust the guidance that you receive, that you hear, um, little nudges that you hear in songs, little confirmations. There's For some of you, there's something that you're kind of being encouraged to do and that you're feeling from within you that you could do, but you're just sort of thinking, oh, is it right? Does it make sense? It might involve actually trusting your vision to a partnership, you know, working with other people and you're holding back and you're being told not to rush in, but to trust the knowing about whether it's right or not. Trust what you're feeling and trust the little nudges and synchronicities and messages. You've got the Claire audience card here. So you might be hearing things like a song at just the right time or someone says something in a talk or on a program, on a podcast or something, and it's just the right phrase, just the right few words. Or, or you might be hearing particular expressions that relate to the thing you're asking about. So you will be guided. And I feel that for this group, a great deal of your sole purpose in 2019 is to learn how to balance trusting what you feel, sense and know and hear with your clarity of vision and your determination to win, to get it exactly as you see it, which is which is great. Artists are like that. You know, we want we have an idea. We know how it sounds or we know how it looks or how it feels. And we want that to be the thing that gets onto the paper or onto the recording or whatever. But it's about your sole purpose is going to involve a little bit of balancing all that with um, how can I work with or partner with other people possibly without losing the integrity of that and learning how to trust the guidance that you receive to show you the right way to do that and for it all to be okay and in artistic integrity. I hope that made sense and I hope that helps you and good luck with everything. Happy 2019.